back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Maddie and I have a super exciting video today. I'm so excited to be filming this. I am going to be doing tips for recruitment in general slash Zoom recruitment. The way that Miami University, which is where I go, specifically does it this year at least is you make a video for a welcome round. Philanthropy round is on Zoom. Sisterhood and prep are in person. So I'm going to be giving you all the tips for everything. I don't see it going going back to normal so hopefully this zoom recruitment will be relevant even in the future. I am a sophomore and I went through this last year. I had such a good time and I just have gathered some tips to talk to you guys about so that you can also have a good time because I know rush can be a super stressful time for a lot of people and it's really all about the mindset and what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. I am standing today wearing my panhel shirt. I feel mobile and I also just did my curls which is why they look so crazy. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, subscribe down below. I do a lot of videos like this and yeah, let's get right into it. I have some tips written down, but I already just thought of another one that I don't have written down here. So I'm just gonna say it first. The welcome round videos are so important. This is something that Hannah Lennox did not stress enough for us to do last year. I literally remember I did my welcome round video with like chubby cheeks from my surgery, my wisdom tooth surgery. And like, I was literally like talking like this and it was just so bad. And had I known that it's like kind of a big part of your rush experience, I would have spent more time doing it. I think that the welcome round videos are already due for the girls that are rushing this year. But if you're watching this video in the future, make sure to really show your personality in your welcome round video have good lighting don't like be fake or anything don't sound fake which is something we'll talk about later and um just take it a little more seriously because they made it like optional for us and they really made it seem like it wasn't as big of a deal as it is and it's not a huge deal but it is like a round it's a whole round that they have us just doing videos for it is important to show your personality through that video now actually getting into the tips i've written down so the first tip is to plan your outfits obviously Obviously, this one's kind of a given. If you're taking it seriously, you will have like outfits for each round planned out. Usually, a philanthropy is more chill. Um, I don't remember exactly what I wore for philanthropy, but it was just like a regular shirt or like a long sleeve, just pretty casual but still cute. And since philanthropy round is on Zoom, it really only has to be cute from here up. So I highly recommend headbands and like cute earrings, cute jewelry, and then like a nice shirt that just looks good on you looks good through the camera and then sisterhood round is a little more dressed up and that one is in person so we will be seeing a full outfit i'm pretty sure for sisterhood last year i wore like a nice pink blouse type thing then pref is the most formal so definitely wear like a dress usually we end up wearing white but they'll tell you so definitely wear something nicer for pref some things that i suggest is not to wear your hair up during philanthropy round because it's hard to be able to see the back of your head and like what's going on when you're on camera or like on zoom so don't wear your hair up wear it down put a cute headband in it save the hair up for a later round and definitely show your personal style through this there's no certain things you have to wear i mean i guess it does get more formal as you go up but no one is saying exactly what you have to wear so really show your personal style because that's what the chapters are going to want to see second tip is to do research i believe that this helps me so much during my rounds especially during philanthropy round I had all of the sororities written down and what their philanthropies were and then how I could personally relate to that philanthropy normally a question that they ask you during philanthropy round is how has this philanthropy impacted you or how have you made a personal connection with that philanthropy it could be like your second uncle's wife that has a connection to this philanthropy, but you need to have a story. You need to have something that connects you. Even if they don't ask, it's very impressive to bring something like that up because they want to know that you're interested in their philanthropy and you have a personal connection with it. My next tip is to shy away from basic conversations. Something that I think that I personally did really well during recruitment and why it ended up working out for me, not doing this whole basic conversation thing, not trying to be fake, 
week. The chapters are not looking for someone to sit there and like try to be someone they're not. That is very easily seen through and I think that you're gonna end up where you're meant to be if you just be yourself and just like have conversations with these girls. I know that I'm a little nervous for Rush just because it's the first time that I'm, that I'm on the other side of it. So just keep in mind that we are just people like on the other side and we're just trying to like get to know you and have a conversation. In the later rounds, I would definitely try to get deeper than just surface level conversation and really get to know like the chapter and have them get to know you. But that does bring me into my next tip, which is the five B's. If you haven't heard of them before, I think there's different versions of this. The five B's that I know are boys, booze, Bible, bucks, and beliefs. And these are the things that you need to not talk about when talking to the girls or going through recruitment. Obviously, boys, do not talk about your boyfriend or any other guy in your life and don't bring up frats. Do not talk about booze, no alcohol, no partying, not what you did this weekend uptown. Don't talk about it, we don't wanna hear about that. And also, don't ask us about that. Bible is obviously religion. You don't need to go in depth about your religion. That's not really what the chapters are looking for when they want to get to know about you and it wouldn't be a deciding factor so it's not really something that you should be bringing up or talking about. I mean obviously if you're asked about it or obviously if it's in a story or it's an important part of your life you can do that but other than that I would shy away from talking about it. Bucks money. Do not talk about how much money you have. It's really not what the chapters are looking for. It's not important. And then beliefs. This is more like politics. Don't like bring up your political views. Obviously, that's just not something that would be a deciding factor either. So it's not important to talk about. Another thing that isn't in the five B's is other chapters. I personally believe that you shouldn't be talking about other chapters when you're talking to a chapter because it kind of shows that your head's like in a different place. And also, nobody cares if you know a girl in another chapter like if you're talking to this one then they don't care it doesn't make you look cool and even if you know a girl in this chapter you could mention it if they ask or in like a different circumstance but it comes off like bragging and just because you know people is not going to get you into a sorority that was kind of harsh but like i hope you know what i mean by that focus on the chapter that you're with talk about them let them see your personality in the best way as possible. A few other quick tips. Make your social media public. The chapters do look at it and, and if your social media is a good representation of you then I would definitely want to make it public so that the chapters can get to know you better. Something that I did was have questions planned ahead of time so if there was ever like an awkward pause or usually they will ask you if you have any questions I could pull from that list of questions that I had already written down. It can be general questions or it can be based on that sorority or philanthropy whatever but it was so helpful to have questions like that because it makes it look like you're super interested when you have questions about the chapter about their sisterhood about their philanthropy about like what events they have it just makes you seem more interested and it also fills space so if the conversation gets boring just ask a question and it'll be all good next thing is to write down everything i'm pretty sure this is pretty self-explanatory just get a journal i literally filled up so many pages in my journal just from recruitment you need to be writing notes about like what girls you talked to, how you liked it, how you liked the conversation, what you guys talked about. Just basically notes about everything because at the end of it, all these conversations start to like mend together and you need to be able to like separate and differentiate from the other chapters and the conversations that you had so you can end up ranking them. Get a cute journal, get a cute pen, have it next to you. Don't write while you're having conversations, but right after. Take some notes, jot it down, you know the drill. Along with that, have water and snacks available next to you and also I highly highly suggest getting a cord on Amazon for the Wi-Fi like a Wi-Fi cord that you can plug into like the Wi-Fi outlet I don't know if that's a thing we had these last year and it really made the connection so much better on zoom so for philanthropy round maybe invest I'm pretty sure they're like 10 bucks on Amazon I can try to link one as well it's because it's so annoying when you're trying to have a conversation with a girl and it's like robot because 
the Wi-Fi is out. And everyone is also going through it at the same time, so the Wi-Fi will be bad. Another thing about everyone going through it at the same time is if you have a roommate that's going through recruitment, then you need to find a place to do it. Most likely, this will be like a study room. Emma and I last year just went through what each of us had. And obviously, if I had one in a slot and she didn't, I would take the room and vice versa. But if we both had one at the same time, then we put like a sticky note on the study rooms that said like, hi, I'm reserving this for da da da. So that's really helpful. You definitely like shouldn't be doing it in the same room as your roommate. It just gets like confusing and it's honestly hard for us on our end to like be able to talk to you while someone else is talking in the same room to someone else. And then if you're in person, which we will be for two rounds, know where you're going, have a little schedule, maybe take like a little, a purse obviously, so that you can like freshen up in between each ones and take notes and stuff. Um, but yeah, just know where you're going. I guess I didn't really have to do that last year because it was all virtual and I won't really have to do it this year because I'm just staying in one place, obviously. Don't have a lot of tips on that one, but I think it's common sense to just like know where you're going so you're on time. And the last tip I have for you, I don't have it written down, but this is literally the most important one. You have to keep an open mind. I said this so many times in my recruitment vlog, which I'll also link below and up here, one of these two corners. You have to keep an open mind or else you're going to be disappointed. You cannot go into recruitment with this chapter in mind and this chapter in mind and like, I want to be a blank. You're bound to be disappointed if you are putting yourself in that situation. I felt like I went in with an open mind. I obviously was hurt by some of the cuts that were made because that's just how life goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. Chapters are going to cut you that you wanted back and if you like are dead set on a chapter, that is literally gonna ruin recruitment for you so you have to go in with an open mind if you go in as completely yourself I promise you it will work out and I promise you will find the place where you are meant to be because if you're not trying to be fake you're not trying to be a person that you're not the chapters are gonna see that they're gonna see that you're a genuine person isn't afraid to be themselves and they will want you back recruitment is a hard time just don't let yourself get discouraged because in the end you'll be where you want to be also it's so fun like just have fun with it I still talk to people that I met during recruitment and I still am friends with some of the people that I like talk to in other chapters that I didn't end up rushing so just look at it as an opportunity to meet people and get to know people on the campus and find a amazing group of sisters that you will get to be a part of forever that is all the tips I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching I hope this helped you if you want me to make any more of these videos or you have other sorority topics Miami related topics leave them in the comments below I love suggestions Questions. Leave a like also and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out so much. And yeah, good luck with recruitment and I'll see you guys next Monday for another video. Bye!